Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Britama Arena here in Jakarta, Indonesia, the semi-finals of the Axiata Cup 2012. The inaugural event is really building up to a very fine climax. We've got uh, our, our first matchups will be here in Jakarta. Indonesia Garuda matched up against Malaysia Tigers. Now, some would say they're the strongest teams in both sides uh, of Indonesia and Malaysia. Tomorrow, it will be... The, uh, what was considered to be the secondary uh, teams, the Leopards, the Malaysian Leopards, together with uh, Indonesia, Rajawali. But Rajawali actually defeated the Malaysian Tigers, which was really quite a surprise last weekend in Kuala Lumpur. So we've got a, a crowd building up here inside this uh, new stadium as far as this Axiata Cup is concerned. We've moved across from Sinayan. We've come to the Britama Arena here. And uh, already we've got the crowd getting involved in this one. It was fantastic atmosphere at Sinayan last time out. And uh, I can tell you now, the moment that the Indonesian Garuda team come out, you can bet there's going to be more and more noise building. It's a, it's a fascinating format, this... Uh, Axiata Cup, it's the ASEAN Men's Team Championship. Teams from Indonesia, Malaysia, there were teams from Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, and the Philippines. And of course, the two teams fielded from Malaysia and Indonesia have made it through to the semi-final stage. We've got the introductions now then to the teams and coming out, <laughs> trying to see his way through immediately the smoke. It's going to be Darren Liu together with uh, his teammates there to be introduced. And there's Hafiz. Oh dear, it's really quite amusing watching them try to break their way through. They've been uh, warming up, and of course the last thing they want is smoke in their lungs. But uh, Hafiz Hashim, and then uh, Al Rif I just saw there, coming out as well. That's, uh, that's uh, Mohammed Al Rif Abdul Latif. And then there's Go, Go Visem. He'll be on a bit later, together with Lim Kimwa. So, Kukien Kiet and Tambun Hyong has been, uh, they've been left out of the squad. But here we go now for Indonesia. Indonesia Garuda being introduced to the crowd. And you have to say, with Sonny Joy Kanchuro coming out now, he, a lot will depend on him, I can tell you, because the lineup for this one is quite fascinating. We've got uh, Tao Figadayat against uh, Darren Liu to, li to line up first. And the second singles is Happy Shasim against Dunny Sunny Dwi Conchoro. So uh, Hendra Setiawan makes his way out to the center of the court. And now here he is, the big hero for the last decade. Tao Figadayat, the 30 year old now. Karaki, I can't believe how time flies. I'm sure he can't either. But the boy that started with an interest and a love for badminton now drives a Ferrari around town, I tell you. He has made a wonderful living out of an extraordinary skill. And look at this. They really, really love to see their badminton players successful. Taufik Diet has been at the forefront for many many years although he now of course is just back behind Santoso in the world rankings he still has got a magical magical appeal particularly in this part of the world in Jakarta he is king Setuan and Asan are the doubles as I mentioned before Sonny Dweek and Choro will line up the will make the other the fourth player in the Indonesia Kuruta team Darren Liu Lim Kawa and Govi Sem have been uh, basically replacing the disappointing, you have to say, Kukin Kiat and Tan Bun Hyong. So uh, I don't think that is uh, a surprise, to be quite honest, because in the preliminaries, uh, Kim Wa and Gobi Sem actually did a great job in overcoming uh, Jefferson Vis, uh, Visas and Esther Lin Sao Lao of Philippines. They lost the first and then won 21-11, 21-8 in the second uh, the second and the third in their matchup so they haven't had a chance since then but now they will come uh, and sh really really show the world what they're about 
in the doubles to follow this one. Darren Leo has been there or thereabouts. He's at his uh, world rank highest at the moment at 28 in the world. The 24-year-old, there he is on the left of camera. And uh, Jose Jordan of the Philippines is our umpire, just takes the toss. So it's Darren Liu and Taufik Adayat. That is really something very, very interesting for all of us. It brings the true meaning of the Axiata Cup together because rarely would Darren have a chance to, uh, to play up against uh, Taufik under the cameras. They've normally had uh, struggled to get to the quarterfinals where the cameras normally come in, the semi-finals particularly. Darren lost in the All England Championship against uh, Lee Hyun Il of Korea. It was a 15 and 13 defeat, but that was on the Friday, so that was the quarterfinals. And uh, he, uh, he obviously did well beating uh, Bunsat Ponsana in an earlier round. That was in the round of 16. He beat him 19 and 23, 21. So a really close battle against Ponsana in the All England Championships. That was uh, uh, around the 9th of March this year. And he also accounted for Derek Wong of Singapore and uh, uh, Yi Sui, who was actually the fourth seed. It was a great effort there, uh, taking him... Uh, it was 19, 19, and 19, but it, the good side of it was Darren Liu actually did so well in the second round there. A brilliant effort by him in that All England Championship. He was defeated, as I say, by the Korean. In the uh, Swiss Open to follow that, he, uh, he beat uh, Pedro Martins on the Thursday and on the Friday, again at the same level, same time. Lost out against uh, Chen Jin who was the number four seed in the Swiss Open. He lost out eight and 21-23. Uh, so first game was really poor for Darren. And then he got into his stride and almost upset Chen Jin. But that was the most recent encounters prior to this Axiata Cup. As Jose Jardin of the Philippines, he'll be under or getting us underway in just a couple of moments. In the matches in the Axiata Cup, Darren Liu uh, accounted for Supanyu. Avihin Sanon of Thailand, 14 and 18. And he also beat uh, Rostavito, 19 and 13. And that was against uh, the Rajawali, Indonesia Rajawali. So a good effort. He's undefeated so far in the Axiata Cup as Darren Liu. But the big, big problem he's going to have is the guy on the opposite side of the court, he's called Taufi Kadayat and he's playing in Jakarta. Six-time champion of the Indonesian Open, and he is in a mean mood. He's going to be opening his academy here in Jakarta in June. He's got an all-star lineup to help him do that, including Lin Dan and Chong Wei. He's invited along, and uh, it's an eight-court academy, which he is hoping is going to really, really plow interest and enthusiasm back into the game. Here we go, then. First point, Axiata Cup semi-final. It was Taufik in service. It's gone, just one love, Indonesia. Oh, Taufik was a little slow in starting his matches. Uh, in fact, he lost the first against uh, Nguyen Tin Tianmin of Vietnam and then came back 18-15 to win him 2-1. He also lost the first against Mizbun Ramdan, the Malaysian Leopards player, the youngster. Lost 15-21 and then won 5-10. So he took a little time to get going, but on this occasion, he's in the lead. It's 1-2, Darren Liu in service. That's out, two off. There is an atmosphere building. We've got the drums and we've got the horns, and it's certainly an interesting stadium, I have to say. The Britama Arena here at the Kalapa Gadding Sport Mall.
Taufik is Mr. Cool, but he has been an extraordinary ambassador for this sport for so, so long. 30 years old. That's a great shot from Darren Liu. Down the line. It was around the head. Spotted it perfectly. Three all. Definitely pressure building inside this uh, stadium here. Ritama Arena. That is a fantastic shot from Taufik Adayat. He played it to perfection down the line. Couldn't have been closer. 5-3. Again, it's pace and power. And Darren, Darren was looking up at the lights there, just a little bit uh, uneasy about whether he could spot it. I must say, this uh, stadium goes very, very high. It's a hugely high roof. That is short. But if you lose it in the crowd, in fact, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of the crowd are in white uniforms I noticed so they, they may just lose the shuttle a great attempt to pick up on the backhand there from Darren but uh, Taufik's cross court was too strong 7-4 four. great start here for Taufik he means business Fabulous rally building here. Oh, it was called good. And wow, that was a stunning backhand. We know he has by reputation the best backhand in the world. And that was a great call. It was on the edge of the line, but that's in. Superb play, 8-4. It was a punishing rally. There were lots of movement, net and backcourt. Taufik is up for this one. He's warmed up, and he wants to really drill home the first point for Indonesia. Darren needs, uh, well, okay, these, there was an error on the play there from Taufik, but Darren really needs to force the issue. He has got to try to put pressure on Taufik. He's in a comfort zone at the moment. You see the virtual boards there, Cellcom, part of the Axiata group, of course. The players do not see those boards. All they can see is a green A-frame, a, a board. They do not see the movement of all the of all the uh, brands there under the Axiata umbrella. Just in case you're worried. Another big shot, perfectly played. And Taufik is looking comfortable. He's only in second gear at the moment, I think. But Darren has got to put more pressure on. He's not managing to do that. You can't play a half court to Taufik and expect to get away with it. There's lots of virtual stuff here, the Axiata in the middle of the court and also obviously all around the frames as well but Darren is under a bit of pressure here new new ground being broken here that is an absolute perfect shot and it's just called good was it oh no it's short it didn't even cross the net this, this is a great opening from Tal Figadaya 10-5 in the opener I think Darren is just a little bit nervous here. Great net play, that's out, that's the break, it's 11-5. And Taufik Adayat gets a really warm cheer. And they have a big, big approval from the fans here in 
the Britama Arena. Great start. So Rashid Sidek will be definitely under a bit of pressure to try and settle his man. Agus Dui, in the meantime, will be very, very happy with what uh, Taufik has come up with. He's been assured, he's been comfortable, no pressure. He hasn't really struggled for any shot. One error out of 16 that they've played. It's a fantastic event, this. I love it because it's giving other players the opportunity to put their heads above the parapet. The Leopards and the Rajawali, a really good opportunity in Malaysia. They come back here on Sunday, of course, as well to Jakarta. So it's a home and away basis in the semi-finals. And there were some really excellent performance, performances by the Malaysian Leopards we saw here last weekend, particularly the last match that I saw, and it was uh, a fantastic uh, first appearance for me for Iskander. I must say, I thought he was excellent. He lost it to Conchoro, but he really put in his heart and his soul. And at the end of the day, what you want is commitment, and he showed bucketfuls of it. Here we go, 11-5, Indonesia and Tau Figadayat in the lead. And now at 12-5, he's absolutely home and hosed here, isn't he? Just looking the real, real deal. Short, but it, yeah, just short of the line. It caught the net, but uh, almost went the distance. It's 6-12. Taufik is really, really excited to uh, be opening this fan fantastic new facility. Eight courts, the Taufik Arena and Academy. Indonesia Badminton could get definitely back to its original home at the top of the ladder in years to come. Darren is finding it really difficult here. He is struggling to break away through. He drops it short. He's going to get that superb touch from Taufik. He puts it longer. He's going to be either dropped or smashed. It's a very, very tough proposition at the moment. And I have to say, Taufik diet. we might accuse him of starting slowly. Not on this occasion. He is in control. 13-6. Even that one breaks through a defensive block. Straight to the face to add insult to injury. In fact, I think it went on his nose. Let's have a look. Ooh, ouch. Don't know how many kilometers an hour, but that hurt. It hurt his pride as well as uh, the points scoring. Darren defending well and attacking well. Great stuff. Yeah, he was under a bit of pressure there, but I have to say that that was very, very good. Stuck in the point, and then beautiful closing of the racket head to drop that shuttle with pace as well. Good work. Now, he's got a big, big mountain to climb here. 7.14. Can he put a any pressure at all on Taufik. Oh yes, good work. Now that was excellent because Taufik anticipated that, but the shuttle was going from inside to out towards the lines and he just couldn't get the angle on it so excellent play from Darren two good points in a row that'll boost his confidence and 
And again, the noise, the cymbals, the drums, it's not a full stadium. If it was, it would be absolutely deafening. But it's a very impressive number of fans here. Yeah, good work down again, three in a row. Now that is exactly what I was calling for earlier. Keeping the pressure on, keep the shuttle in play, keep Taufik having to think that he's got to try to force the pace. Great net play from Darren and then suddenly finished it off with a loose shot from Taufik, which he killed. This is better, 9-14. Oh, and he changed his mind, and he might look up at the lights. It's not the problem with the lights, I can tell you. It's the fact that he changed his mind. He was going to play it down the line, decided on cross court, but he's too far from the net to do anything with it. That was a, a big error, I'm afraid, for 15-7 now in favor of Taufik Adayat with service. Yeah, the moment you see Taufik building up for that jump smash, you know he's not going to waste his energy. Well, let's hope he's brought his son again today because it made a lovely, lovely picture for the papers last weekend. He's a family man now and obviously enjoying life to the full. He's got his academy, as I said, he's opening up in June. The world is a very, very wonderful place for Taufik Adayat. Great defense. Oh, not this time, though. Well played, Darren. He, again, he looks up at the lights, but it was a brilliant shot. Superb. He needs to get a little bit more confidence. A great pickup, but then, look at that. Taufik knew he had to play it. I have to say, the, the, sh the shuttle is really very true at the moment. We haven't got the aircon on full. It's quite warm inside this... Uh, Stadium, the Batama Arena. But the shuttle is running through both sides, which is a great relief for the players, of course. World and Olympic champion, Olympic champion in 2004 in Athens, world champion in Anaheim in 2005. Tao Figadaya, still the hero of Indonesia, the most recognized face, I would say, in Indonesian sport. But Darren Liu will serve, and this is last chance saloon for him at 10-16. And now at 17-10, you can put it deep, you can put it right in the center. But the problem with that is you're giving your opponent like Taufik so many options. Darren is competing well in this one. I could feel that coming, you know. And he's got uh, Taufik stretching. It's a very, very good rally there for Darren Liu. He's taken a time to get back into this. But there have been one or two rallies that suggested that he's feeling good about himself. And that really was an excellent rally. Not only did he defend well, he was putting pressure on. And one of the areas that he was putting pressure on is that backhand court deep from Taufik, which is one of his favorite areas to play from. So that shows confidence from Darren Liu. He's now got the shuttle at 
Yeah, that was too easy. Okay, it was a great setting up shot from Taufik to put it so close to the net. The lift was not deep enough. Look at this. It's only three quarters. It's on the inside tram line. So he's going to be killed. The first one from the jump smash went to the left of Darren. This time it goes to the right. His right, that is. Yeah, good work. Nice aggression. Little hand of apology, but that doesn't matter. It's very, very impressive there from Dam Darren Liu. Keeps the pressure on. He's not letting Taufik absolutely have it in his own way here. The legitimate target of the body. Good stuff. Continuous horns and shouting here inside the Britama Arena. Good rally, Naren again. Again, he's thinking it through, putting pressure on, dropping it short, pushing it out into that forehand court deep, and then changing the direction with a lovely churn. That's very good. Ranked at uh, 28th in the world, 24-year-old is really, really starting to enjoy this. He didn't enjoy the opening exchanges, but now he can see he can put pressure on this Indonesian hero. There you go again. It's dropped at the net. This is going to be interesting. Two or three more points. Taufik will feel under pressure. Big, big prize money here at stake. One million US dollars put into the pot by Axiata and obviously all the companies underneath them in the corporation. That's out. Taufik, again, feeling a little uncomfortable here. 15-18. Well, the Indonesian supporters still feeling very positive. It's a three-point advantage, Indonesia. And another error there. This is good stuff from Darren Liu. Two points now. There's a little, a little shout and clap of encouragement to Taufik here. He's gone off the boil a little bit, but it has to be said, Darren Liu has put that position on the table. He's the one that's created it. Some excellent play. It's a must win here for Darren Liu. And what a fight back from a seemingly impossible position. He's back within one point now at the business end of this first game. And I have to say that it's Taufik that has been under a bit of pressure of late. Into the body a couple of times. He's just not being able to kill that shuttle. The Indonesian fans enjoying this matchup, but Darren Liu right at this moment enjoying it more. One point the difference, 17-18. Yes, 18 or Darren Liu keeps the pressure on, and what a fight back. That is brilliant. I tell you what, if you're watching this in Malaysia, don't leave your set at the moment, because there is something very special going on here. Taufik started out so, so well. He was in control. Darren was a bit nervous. And then suddenly, the roles have changed. 18 all in the first. Taufik is being examined. He's being tested. He's being pushed. That's exactly the situation we love to see. Great competition. 24 years old versus 30 years old. But will the experience of Talkavika Dayak come through? No question of consulting any uh, coaches around. He knows how to play.
play. Right. This is exciting. First match in the semi-final of the Axiata Cup 2012 here in Jakarta. The cheerleaders are doing their thing, keeping the crowd buzzing and active and noisy. Darren Liu trying to upset them here. He's got the service. 18 all in the first. Ooh, and the first point for six goes to Taufik Dayat. You could tell with his foot movement there, he was really keen not to lose the lead. He was absolutely on that service. Then he followed up the third shot. Again, he was aggressive. He's got the serve now. 19-18. It's gone. Ooh, I thought he was going to play it. My goodness me, Darren, thank goodness you were listening. It was way, way wide. 19 all. Again, Taufi getting a little bit carried away with that one. This is a great battle. The best of Axiata Cup action here in Jakarta. 19s. It's a brilliant shot. You cannot combat that. It wasn't a bad lift. It was deep. It was absolutely perfect, coordinated jump smash. Watch this. This is the best of the magician, Taufik Adayat. How many times have we seen that from him? Dragging things out of the cupboard when he needs them most. He's got game point here at 2019. That's it, 21-19. The crowd go wild here at the Britama Stadium and Arena. And I have to say, Darren Leo contributed to the excitement there hugely. He was blown away in the opening, 11-5 at the interval in favor of Taufik. And then it was a great rear guard action fight back from the Malaysian. It wasn't to be, though, in the first game. It's gone to 21-19. Taufik and Diet has taken the first game. Well, that would be a big disappointment there for the boy in yellow, no doubt at all. He was close to springing a surprise after drifting back out of this one. But, uh, wow, great opening match and another big, big, exciting encounter. Great entertainment here. And I think you could say everything that the Axiata Cup has as a an ambition fun color excitement great play the youngsters challenging the more established the world champion olympic champion what could be better that's the one he decided to leave for 19 all <laughs> that was a little bit earlier some good stuff. Well, the Onyx carpet really shows up there, doesn't it? They've got their uh, stringers just there on the right side of screen. And uh, it really is a glorious setup. Total Sports Asia, who conceived the idea with their partners now, Axiata, have just done a great job in bringing this into fruition. Nine months of continuous negotiation and real, real study culminates now in this Axiata Cup semi-final stage in Southeast Asia, the biggest team competition, in fact, in World Badminton at a million US dollars up for grabs. You have to say that's a very exciting prospect. It focuses the mind and it really gives opportunities for the youngsters to come through, particularly from Malaysia and Indonesia and come into the spotlight. Right, well, one of the old-timers, Taufik Adair has got a one-game-to-love lead. A little too excitable there for Darren Liu. Again, in that All-England encounter earlier this year, where he beat Ponsana. It was a very, very big, big match for him.
that's out. Just a little bit too much flick on the backhand for 2-0. I can see Lim Kimwa warming up a little bit, the lefty, and Govi Sem getting ready. They obviously uh, don't think that Darren can last here. That's gone as well. And he's just playing a little bit too aggressively here, trying to find the corners. 3-0, Taufik. Great net play, Darren. Yeah, he chose the wrong option. He played it onto Taufik's forehand when he had a real chance to put pressure on, it didn't work. Yeah, that was the one, he had options on the backhand as well, he's now just always putting pressure on himself, it's not good. They call him the baby-faced assassin. You can judge why, well, he won't need to be an assassin. The suicide going on here at the moment, it's 5-0. Be getting a bit excited down that line. It is a big arena, this, but uh, on this occasion, he really misjudged the radar. So, first point in this second game for Darren Liu. 1 5. And that was a poor service. You can't give points away like that to a guy like Taufik. He must be intimidated, Darren, I have to say. And that one's wide as well. So he really is struggling at the moment to get any kind of consistency. And the consistency of performance is exactly what he's required at the moment. Taufik's got it. That's a better shot, off the net and down for 2-7. Yeah, too good. It was too good from Taufik Adayat. He was reading that well. That backhand, just a little punch down the line. It was excellent. One of the strongest backhands in the world of badminton. Nice rally, great rally. Both players enjoying this one, bye-bye. <laughs> Absolutely superb there from both players, but it was the net play, the quality play from Taufik there. He's really gliding around like an ice skater around that court and doing some magical things. It's Taufik at his very best. He might have lost a little bit in terms of his fitness levels and maybe a millimetre or two on speed. But I tell you what, his court craft is brilliant. Stunning point there for Taufik Adayat. He's well on his way for the first point for Indonesia. It's 9-2. And now 10-2.
Well, you have to say, look at the crowd in the background, absolutely loving this. They are noisy. And it's all to good effect in support of their hero. Everything he does, well, not quite everything. Out of court there, but look at that. The red and white on their cheeks of the Indonesian flag. Darren Liu is in the lion's den at the moment. Ooh, if he'd managed to get that one over, that would have been a really, really good drop shot from Liu, but it didn't happen. It's 11-3. It was 11-5 in the first, and Liu fought back to level things at 18 all. He's not going to do it this time, though, as he changes his shirt. see some uh, action here it's all got to be in favor of Taufik he's watching that one that'll that'll be a big big jump smash into the body and down it was a finish of a great rally we're at the halfway stage of the second game and with Taufik Hidayat absolutely in control all over it at the moment Darren Liu in trouble this is this was really a vital point I think Conchoro coming up to play against Hafiz Hashim in the second singles and of course, Kimwa and Govisem against Setuan and Asan, that's going to be tough. Oh, and even the luck is going his way. Off the tape and over into the opponent's court. And that is 12-3 now. And Taufik absolutely in control. Just looking at the head-to-heads. And that is out of court. The head-to-heads, Darren has played Taufik twice, previous occasions, and lost both of them. So, psychologically, he knew he was under pressure. But right here and now, at 13-3, he's going to be blown away unless he does something soon. Oh, oh it's close. Had it not been for the tape to rescue Darren Liu, there would have been another point. It was deflected, a little wry smile there from Taufik as he realizes that a little bit off balance, but uh, he was within a very, very minute point of getting it down the line. He's looking good though, isn't he? Those of you who are fans of Taufik will be really pleased to see him at this level. Darren Liu has never never quite made it at the highest level look at that anticipation That's in. That was well played from Darren Liu. A little bit of an error of judgment there from Taufik. But he was, during that particular rally, he was doing a little bit of showboating. There was a lot of dummy play. And those rippling forearm muscles of Taufik on the right arm, bathed in sweat. It's quite warm inside this stadium. They've kept the air conditioning down in order to give the shuttle a a straightforward flight so it's a bit warm even at my height maybe five or six meters above floor level that's up yeah that's long Taufi just taking his foot off the pedal a little bit it's 6 13. Flat play, which Darren Liu wins. 
Taufik was actually up for that, you know. He was really keen. He had good footwork. He wanted to kill this shuttle, but he couldn't actually take advantage. Darren Liu did as well. Consistency now. That's the big, big problem for Liu. He's got all the shots in the book, but it's the options that he takes to put pressure on his opponent. This time it has gone well left. Flat, but too long, too hard, 14-7. Just in case you're wondering, this is a two-leg semi-final. It's home and away. So when we get to the end of these three matches, it will only be the halfway stage. Then if it's uh, three all at the end of that, they'll take into account the number of games won. And ultimately, if it's still level, they'll take the number of points won. So it's important that these teams play every point on merit that they try to get every point in the bag that's why Taufik is really pushing hard here for every point 15-7 he's got short and it's 16-7 and Darren trying to compete with him at the net he's all over it which puts more pressure on Well short there, but 16-7, Taufik really, really showing the way here. And of course, the huge disappointment is Chong Wei not here for the semi-final. Great work, Taufik. He pushed his man around the court. He drew him to the net. He pushed him into the opposite corner. And then he killed him with a very strong jump smash. Super stuff. Great badminton. Well, at 17-7, you'd have to say that is a totally fair reflection of the dominance of Taufik Adayat. Darren Liu, although he was unbeaten coming into this one in this Axiata Cup, he is now getting a lesson. A lesson in consistency and in choosing right option of shot. And what's impressed me about Taufik is he's not shown any signs of his fitness levels dropping off at all. He's still as dynamic as ever on the court. Again, another dummy, beautiful. Oh, you beauty, it even took the tape as well as went to ground. Absolutely first class. He is in dominant form tau figure diet is really bringing a great smile and cheer to the jakarta public he's on fabulous form oh dear we've got uh, quite the opposite in the malaysian camp struggling to find anything here this is serious for malaysia But he missed it. Oh, oh, dear. Well, you wouldn't have expected him to miss that one. The easiest shot he's had all morning. All afternoon, should I say. That's what it is now here in Jakarta. But 8-18. Uh, Mohamed Hassan warming up right in front of me. He'll partner Hendra Setiwan in a moment. They will be very, very happy with this situation. Taufik is absolutely on song. Brilliant into the corner forehand. Look at him. He really is in a dominant mood. 
And it, it's not the money, he's got lots of it. He is just absolutely driven by an innate desire to be the best he can all the time. Since he, uh, he's gone on his own, obviously he's got uh, Yonex as his main supporters in terms of his individual sponsor, but he has had a freedom of expression over recent years, which has been absolutely fantastic to see. That's out. It's 20 points to eight. It's now match point in favor of Taufik Adayat. What a heroic performance from him. You can't take anything for granted. Of course we know he's the best, or has been the best. He's a world champion, former one. He's an Olympic champion, former one. But now here in the Axiata Cup, on the edge of another big victory. Bye-bye. No, drop shot. Drop shot again, but it's short. A little bit of generosity from Taufik figure diet. Maybe he's happy to let his opponent get to 10. This has been a masterclass from Taufik. Well, Darren Liu will not be happy with his performance, but it's all a question of what he's been allowed to do. That's it, that's out. That's 21-9. And Taufik Adayat, on three occasions, he's played his opponent, Darren Liu. And on all three occasions, he's dominated. He waves to the crowd, who waves back to him with absolute reverence and respect. They love him here in Jakarta. Look at that. Kido will not be playing in the doubles, but he offers his congratulations as well. Darren Liu is one of the top players in Malaysia. I tell you what, he's been blown away. 21-9 in the second by Taufik Adayat. He is the king of Jakarta, and you can understand why now the Indonesian Garuda team are the favorites to take this Axiata Cup title, the inaugural event. It's a brilliant shot into the corner there. He had drawn his player in. And there you can see Agos Dwi Santoso will be absolutely delighted with that. Congratulations all round. In Indonesia, the first point in this semi-final. The best of six matches, home and away. And I can tell you, they will be delighted with that one. It'll be the doubles coming up in just a couple of moments. Indonesia Garuda 1, Malaysia Tigers 0.